Hello reformers and welcome back to 108 Heroes. Now, we are currently embroiled in a battle against some flowery bandits. It's not going to take too long and I'm hoping that I will be able to get some refined stone because that will enable us to upgrade our legendary polearm or a legendary two-handed just that little bit more because as we had seen in a previous episode, I was actually able to get so many kills with a uh, Siege Defense that I was able to level it up again. So it's now level three, or technically it can be level three relatively soon. So if I can do that, then we will be in a really, really good position. And uh, I'm actually gonna show you my legendary, whoa. Okay, don't kill my horse, please. I would prefer if my horse would stay alive. Anyway, <laughs> as I was saying, I will show you the stats of my legendary weapons after this battle and just to let you know that I don't think the legendary items change their base stats that much if at all I think I saw that in a comment uh, a while ago and I think in general what is going to happen is it will just gain more of the other stats that it that it has just from being a legendary weapon so in other words the two-handed is going to have more damage against enemy cavalry and it's going to have something else as well that it does that normal two-handed will not do, obviously, because obviously it's a magical legendary weapon of some kind. So that's generally, I think, what will be changed and improved rather than the other thing, <laughs> rather than, uh, you know, the damage and, and various other things being improved as well. Unless that has been changed, I obviously don't know. So we're going to we're gonna check that out because I believe that Li Yun... Li Yun, our new amazing, insane companion, he also has a similar weapon. Alright, well there it is, we were able to defeat them, there was only 95 to be killed there, but we actually got a good amount of companion experience, as you can see. Our female tiger companion got 15 kills, Wang Zhao Zhao got 12, and no one else really got anything too much, but pretty good still, pretty good for our people to get that. Anyway. We are going to be taking these guys prisoner, and then we will be taking a look at my weapon. So there is my weapon right here. It has 51 cutting, 32 piercing. Pretty sure that's about the same as what we had beforehand. But as you can see, it has Cavalry Killer, Village Defender. Those are the things that I believe it had at level 1. But it now also has Han Invader, which increases damage to Han troops by 21%. Now, I don't know whether that is going to stay as it is. I don't know whether that's going to be a thing that will be removed when we are not fighting against the Han anymore, or, you know, what will happen. But let's take a look at this now. So as you can see, this is a level 2 Moon Sword, and it increases damage to ranged by 16%, and it also increases our trade skill by 1%. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't think the speed rating, the weapon reach, or the swing have been changed. The only thing that will change are the bonus stats down in the bottom there. Alright, so we have a siege attack against Yang Zhu at the moment, and we have just received our salary of 1500 as well, due to our contributions to the faction. Now, this is going to be pretty easy, I think, with the exception of it obviously being a siege tower. Siege towers are always extremely annoying but we are hopefully going to do a pretty fine job because we have basically every single vassal in our faction actually here. As you can see, the liege himself is here with his utterly insane weapon. That is pretty crazy, and I don't know whether you can notice, but uh, if you take a look, look at that. Look at the, the detail on the, the hilt of my sword right here. That is pretty crazy. And I'm talking about specifically where the blade enters the hilt. That is pretty cool. Anyway, Siege Tower is going to be moving. Alright, it's time for us to ascend the Siege Tower and take our fight to the battlements. Now, as you can see, Sun Erniang has actually done a huge amount of damage so far. She has 10 kills. Actually really impressed with her performance here because it has been not easy. <laughs> it has not been easy at all. I've basically just been waiting in the siege tower because I obviously don't have any ranged attack in any way. So I'm basically useless. So I basically just stand there, wait for the siege tower, and now we're obviously going to be trying to slaughter as many people as possible. But she has been doing a fantastic job. She actually got 10 kills, killing 
a lot of the Wu archers. And I'm hopeful that we will be able to get in here. Because, I mean, we have so many vassals with us. We should theoretically have the easiest time. What? Li Yun got himself killed? Are you serious? I'm actually really surprised about that. I would not have anticipated Li Yun to take fatal damage in this case whatsoever. I would have expected him to live and act actually murder as many people as he wants because he's obviously an ex-vassal for our faction and that's kind of crazy. Anyway, I guess I'm just going to try and deal as much damage as possible on these stairs, try and get a bit of a... A bit, bit, I guess a bit of an opening, a bit of a height advantage over our opponents. And once we do this, I think we will be in the best possible position for a victory here. I mean, look at all of our skills. All of our vassal skills are activating right now. And you can see, <laughs> look at how many of these hooked sickle polearm two-handed weapons we have available to our, our forces here. That's pretty crazy. Really? The liege? has been eliminated. Are you serious? I'm actually kind of surprised about that. Okay, let's go for it. Yeah, there we go. I did a, uh, a crowd surf right there. Pretty awesome. I'm, I'm always a big fan of crowd surfing, especially in those situations. And let's continue. Let's continue slaughtering as many as I can get my hands on. Gonna have to be a bit careful here because obviously I can get myself swarmed pretty easily if I'm not careful. And, uh, yeah, I mean, if I did not have this weapon, I would be in big trouble. So, it's really nice that I do have this. But you know what? I should probably kill some more with my moon sword because it needs experience still, and my pole arm does not. So, it's probably much, much more effective for me to get some kills with the moon sword instead. But, obviously, it is a little bit, a little bit more inefficient because it doesn't kill things in one hit most of the time. It will probably do... Sometimes one hit, sometimes two hits, so it's not as efficient as the two-handed. But obviously it does have a shield component, so if I do get shot by something, then that's going to be much easier as well. But yeah, you can see the utter grand nature of what we are attempting to do here. So many people coming in here trying to take out the Wu's castle, because this is actually a castle that is, well, basically in our territory. And that's, I think, the reason why we are attempting to take this. Whoa, that was a harsh attack right there. These blunt weapons, that's, that's kind of the reason why I like blunt weapons as well, by the way, because they do have that stumbling component to them where if you hit someone hard enough, they're going to get stumbled and they're going to be on the floor for a little bit of time and then you have basically a full opportunity to deal as much damage as you want to them. So it's really, really good in that way. But it is obviously very slow. They are a little bit imbalanced as well. Not imbalanced in a balanced term, you know, so they're not like overpowered or anything, but they are imbalanced in the way that they're a bit slower and a little bit harder to handle, but for the most part I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with my build so far. Some people are leveling up right here. We leveled up which is really nice, and we are receiving more reinforcements as well. This is problematic though, because there are only 300 units in the garrison here. How many have we killed so far? It feels like we've killed so many. It really feels like we've killed a massive amount, but it seems like we are just continuing to kill more and more and more. So I don't know how many left they have. It seems like they are actually starting to dwindle now, which is good. But you can see here that our own forces... Ah! Got myself killed at the very end. Yeah. Got myself killed at the very end. That was pretty harsh. But, as you can see, we do have someone getting a title right there, and they did take it, as you can see. So nothing really to worry about so much. And I can now level up our forces so we're going to be doing that and a couple of people have actually reported in the comments that you can actually get to what is it now 15 yeah i think you can get to 15 iron flesh which is insane i i cannot believe that you can actually do that so that's that's pretty awesome i think i might like to do that as we level up more but mm, it's obviously posing all kinds of different issues because i probably will not be able to do that in well in in this in this series because there's just so many different skills that I want to level up and I'm not going to be able to really dedicate well a huge amount as you can see I've got 30 strength already if I do gain some additional legendary weapons or legendary items then obviously they have the opportunity to give me some additional strength but as it stands right now I don't know whether I can really 
efficiently go for like, oh yeah, let me just go for, you know, 33 strength. That's another three levels, which will work, which will make it level 33 for me. And then I have one extra point in Power Strike and one, one extra point in Iron Flesh. I don't know whether that's worth it in comparison to specking into intelligence, getting trainer skill up, getting riding skill, athletics, shield, weapon master, all that sort of thing, leveled up as much as possible. So... It's really just a toss-up, to be honest. But at the moment, I'm pretty content with leveling up our pathfinding and our trainer skill because, obviously, if I end up losing my entire army, it's going to make much more sense to have a way to get them back quickly. All right, so this is a bit of a weird situation that we have here. I'm actually helping out one of our vassals that is being picked on by a deserter party. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what's going on with him not actually able to defeat these guys these guys are as you can see not not difficult in the least so i'm not entirely sure what's happening with that oh okay never mind they are actually really difficult as you can see they are running around with top tier sky archer masters okay okay i get it i get it he was having some difficulties with these guys they have very, very elite units. All right, that put uh, put me in my place, didn't it? Yeah, absolutely. That was that was fantastic. Wow, I can't believe it. Okay, so that was pretty awesome. And uh, yeah, so that means yeah, we're gonna obviously be able to defeat them because we just outnumber them so significantly. But this is actually a pretty good way of gaining some relation with this guy because he's gonna be really really happy that we helped him. And. That was 65 damage. Did you see that? 65 damage? That was insane. Wow. Really, really impressed by these guys. I'm really actually happy that I have a huge amount of those guys on my side now. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right. So, yeah, we do now have to deal with the, uh, the guy himself. There we go. He's been defeated, of course. Thank you very much. And let's have a look and see how much relation we're actually going to be getting with this guy. We gained... Uh, ah, three. I guess that's all right. It's not too bad. Oh, and we also freed someone, which is really nice, with the Han. <laughs> yes. Uh, that's not not particularly good. As you can see, I'm actually not... I don't even have any space, but I do have... Wow. Okay. Yeah, selling these guys is going to be pretty insane. S selling these Sky Archer Masters, 14 of them, is going to be really impressive. Ah, so we have something else going on here. There was actually a Chu vassal very, very close by to where I helped out our pre... Well, actually, this guy is actually in this fight, but yeah, kind of amusingly enough, he recruited, or should I say rescued, all of those guys from the rescued prisoner pool, and now he has about 44 units out of like 90 or something like that, and previously only had about 15, so he has gained a pretty significant power spike from us helping him out, which is pretty nice. Now, apart from that, he has now decided to attack a Chu vassal alongside someone else, and so I decided, okay, let's, let's uh, help these guys out, see what the Chu units are actually like, and I've sent Li Yun to fight the enemy vassal because I don't have a huge amount of HP and I think Liyun is yeah <laughs> he's pretty good he's pretty good so I'm pretty happy with his performance there he is an absolute monster and uh, now I just have to be a bit careful obviously the, there's only about 15 enemies remaining do bear that in mind because I actually got there a bit late but apart from that it will give me an opportunity to take a look and see what kinds of units the Chu are actually running with. So they have infantry by the looks of things. They have, whoa, they have some big, big Polax guys. I think that's actually the the leader, isn't it? I think that's probably the leader, but it seems like they're pretty easy to kill. I mean, for my moon sword, obviously most things are pretty easy to kill. But yeah, as it stands, I, I don't think we should have too many difficulties. Are we seriously, are we seriously losing some people right now? Why are we losing people? Not entirely sure why our female tiger companion was defeated, but I suppose it could be because we are pretty low in HP in general, because I haven't had a lot of time to actually restore myself since the siege. So that could be a thing. Is that guy dead? Oh, that was a... That was actually a heavy shield guard? I actually thought that was the enemy leader, but wow, that's... That's, uh, that's pretty scary. Seems like he's got some really good gear, but there you go. Victory is ours. 
Oh, I have just been offered something. I'm not entirely sure what it is. I don't really want to click go back, but it's basically a tournament in our faction's territory. And I have the opportunity to choose Li Yun as my hero. So I'm actually going to be... Ah, 108 heroes fight every month. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> this is this is interesting. This is interesting. Okay, so I'm actually fighting as Li Yun right here, and we have to as far as I'm aware, I don't think we are actually needing to protect the uh the fellow. We need to actually fight over the hill here. So that's exactly what we're going to do. So we we require 250 points. Let's see what we can do about that. I am not on a mount unfortunately, or is it fortunately? I'm actually unsure, but anyway, basically King of the Hill style game mode. And this happened in the campaign. This is actually happening in the campaign as I was just about to besiege a castle, if you can believe that. So, yeah, there you go. I guess that's happening right now. Let's see if I can get to the top and actually do some damage because Li Yun is... Wow, he's got such a fast weapon. It's pretty crazy. What what uh, what team am I, am I actually on? I'm actually unsure. Well, I suppose we'll just do our best. Let's try and murder him. Ah, oh, 82 damage. Not that much. Okay, there we go. There we go. Do some damage, do some damage, kill him. Yes, there we go. Alright, so we took him out. Now, if I can just take out a couple of others, then I will be very, very pleased. Wow, these guys. Whoa, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of people. Okay, don't die now, Li Yun. You cannot die. You cannot perish. You are a fantastic beast of a uh, of a soldier. And, uh, wow, he is an absolute beast. As you can see, he's murdering everything in sight. Whoa, okay. Now, obviously, this is basically like the Super Smash mode that you can actually do from the main menu, from the start menu. So, yeah, that's that's pretty cool, i got to say. And maybe we can... Can we capture this, please? I'd appreciate it. Okay, let's take him off his mount. He does a lot of damage anyway, even when he's off his mount. And maybe we can do some damage. Overheads? Ah! Okay, overheads. Maybe. Okay, come on now. Yes, there we go. Yes, nice damage, nice damage. Okay, we're taking a bit of damage from here. That's okay. As long as I can continue dealing damage to him as he is attempting to slaughter me, then I think that's pretty good. Yes, yes, there we go. Wow, we are, we are single-handedly doing this and I'm actually surprised, Where, where's my team? My team is, is kind of helping, but not so much. Kind of surprised about that, to be honest. As long as I keep kind of side strafing. Oh, no, not against that guy. Not against that guy. Do you see his... What? That? Did you see that? Do you see that guy's weapon? Whoa, that's super crazy. That is... Wow, that's, that's a bit much, isn't it? <laughs> I really wish I had that guy on my team right now. That has actually just given me a really good idea. I should really try and go to some of the other factions where I can actually do mind reading. And I should try and find the, 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 the biggest, best, most amazing, fantastical dude ever. And just go, hello, would you like to join me? You know? <laughs> After I've helped him, obviously. And then see where that goes. Because I think we could be... Wow. We, we would have such an insane advantage in this particular fight that it would just be crazy. Absolutely crazy. Okay, so let's just try and kill that guy. Some of these guys are not particularly hard to kill. But yeah, there we go. Okay, so we've captured it. Have we captured the mountain? Yes, we've captured the mountain. Okay, this is, this is good. Let us murder everything in the area. Kill him. Kill that guy. Kill this guy. There we go. Okay, I'm going to get ready to kill this guy as well. Yes, he's got good armor. He's got good armor. This guy's got really good armor. Okay, no, my people are dying. It's not good. Not good at all. Yes. Okay. Murder him. Oh, no. Don't take damage. This guy doesn't know how to fight. Come on. Ah, oh, that guy does, though. The flowery monk guy. The flowery monk guy is crazy. Okay, He. yeah, he's really, really strong. We need to be a bit careful of him as he comes up the hill there because his, he's got such a long reach on that weapon and it does so much damage. Did you see that? It did 71 damage or something to Li Yun and he's wearing some pretty good gear. 
Alright, we seem to be doing really, really well at this point. Look at all the bodies! The bodies are just littering this entire area and I have been murdering the flowery monk as soon as he comes up the hill here as quickly as I can because he does prove to be very vicious, very, very good at what he does against basically every single, every other person, every other person. So yeah, he can be really dangerous. Well, I have been fighting tooth and nail here for quite some time. And as you can see, team one, which I assume is my team, we are almost victorious. We need to just hold out for a little bit longer. Basically, what I've been doing is just killing everyone that comes up here as soon as possible. That's basically the best tip that I can give if anyone is having problems with this, because basically killing the first target you can see extremely fast makes it so that all of your other guys are super easily able to then pile on to the rest, basically. So you can have much more damage time, if you know what I mean. So yeah, getting that. There we go. We did it. 250 points. Fantastic. Everyone else has died or been knocked unconscious and we can now leave. There we go. You have won the battle. Your team score is 250, more than another team 570. You've killed 75 enemies. I, I actually did kill 75 enemies by the looks of things. I died twice, which reduces points by 20. Your hero is Li Yun. His strength and agility sum are 114, which reduce 114 points. Your allies killed 109 enemies, which get 109. So your total score is 545 points, and you get 9,200 cash and 77 renown. Wow. Crazy. All right, there it is. There is a victory on that duel. And now it is time for us to take out this vassal. This vassal was attempting to attack us and basically interfere in my siege attempt. Thankfully, the castle nearby is only a ladder castle, so it's going to be pretty easy for me to get my ladders up and running again. And there's the victory against these guys. We actually didn't do too badly. We, there was only 60 of them, so it's not actually a big deal. I'm going to let this guy go, as is per usual. And we gained a huge amount of relation with him as well. So we might very well be able to persuade him to join us at some point. Anyway, that will be it for this episode. I thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time.